All right, welcome everybody. In today's video, I'd like to go through um, an intermediate training plan for the summer for cross country. All right, so this is one of two intermediate plans that I'm gonna recommend. This plan uh, tops out at about 40 miles per week. So let's see, let's get to it. 40 miles per week, summer XC training plan. All right, so first things first, this plan, um, who's it for, right? So, so this is for anybody who, you know, has been running uh, in the, about 30 to 35 miles per week in the past, right? So you don't want to make a, you don't want to make a big jump in mileage from one year to the next, right? So at some point in the past, um, you should have run 30 to 35 miles per week consistently, at least for a few weeks. Okay, and so let's look at some of the details. So in the course of this plan, you're going to build up from 20 miles per week to start to a max of 40 miles per week by the end of July. And then your max lawn run is going to be eight miles. So if you haven't been doing 30 to 35 miles per week sometime in the past, right? Um, or, you know, if you're co coming back from injury, Right, if you're coming back from injury or illness, if you if you haven't been up to this mileage level in the past, you might you might want to consider not not following this plan, but following my other intermediate plan. So so max out at just 30 miles per week. But if you're ready to make that jump up to 40 miles per week, you're ready to to run up to eight miles at a time on a on a regular basis, then um, this plan might be for you. All right, so let's look at the goals. And so these are general goals for, you know, summer training, right? And so summer training is really all about building a base. So that's our first goal. We're just trying to build a mileage base. And so what do I mean by a mileage base? Well, the key is basically running consistently, consistently. So we want to be running five to six times per week at least, right? We want to be doing at least five runs a week and we want to aim to run more mileage than we have in the past, right? Uh, we don't want to make a big jump, but every year you should be trying to run a little bit more than you have in previous years. That's how, that's how we increase our body's um, aerobic capacity. That's how we improve as distance runners is by running a little bit more each year, right? So typically you want to run, you want to make a jump about, of about five to 10 miles per week um, for every six month period, right? So in the course of a year, it's possible to, to, to increase your mileage by about 10 miles per week if you want to do it safely. Um, maybe 15 to 20 miles per week in, a, in one year if you're, being real, if you're being really aggressive, right? but a 10 miles per week jump from one summer to the next summer. It's a reasonable expectation. So, um, but you gotta do this safely. So our main goal here really is to be, so I probably should have put this one, but I'll put it here as number two. We wanna be prepared and healthy for, um, for XC. So, that means, you know, August, right? By the time August comes around, we want to be prepared and healthy. Um, we want to, so we want to be healthy, right? You, you can be healthy just by not running, right? But that's not, going to, that's not going to make you prepared, right? So to be prepared, we want to do some, some, some low-key workouts, some light workouts that, that are going to build fitness. And so we're not starting off with zero fitness in August. So if you ran track in the spring, 
you don't want to lose that fitness. You want to build on it, right? So you want to come into the cross country season in just as good shape as you were um, during track, maybe even better shape, right? And so every, every year you want to be getting faster, right? And you get faster consistently by working, working harder consistently. So doing more mileage each year, right? Um, not taking long breaks, right? That's how you get consistent improvement by just being consistent with your running year round. So let's see. So in terms of workouts, our main goal here is to keep the intensity low, right? We want low intensity. And so there's two things I want to emphasize here. 80% of all running should be easy conversational pace running. Easy pace. That's the, that's the first thing. The second thing is that your workout recovery time, so the time that it takes you to recover from a workout has to be less than or equal to 24 hours. If you do a workout on, let's say, Tuesday, then um, by the time Thursday comes, by the time, by the time it's Thursday, you want to be completely recovered. So you don't, you don't want to have any muscle soreness past that 24 hour period, right? So you, you, you want to really stay relaxed with these workouts. It's not a time um, to be killing yourself out there, right? You want to, you know, build some fitness, but you want to do it safely and you don't want to sacrifice your mileage, right? You want to keep that consistency. All right, so let's look at some of those workouts we're going to do. So other than easy running and long runs, which are also easy pace runs, there's really only two types of workouts I'm going to have you guys do. Workouts that are um, aerobic, and so I'll abbreviate this with a capital A. And so these are workouts that stress your cardiovascular system. And then workouts that are designed to improve your turnover and mechanics. So what do I mean by mechanics? Well, your stride, right? So you want to, you want to work on um, your, your running form and your, you know, your, your neuromuscular system so that you can get a high turnover when you run, right? You want to have a high cadence. So you're going to do some workouts for turnover and also do some workouts for your aerobic system. But everything has to be pretty low key. So let's look at what those workouts can be. So for your aerobic system, I'm going to have you guys do um, what are called steady state runs. And so a steady state run is basically a run um, at a comfortably hard pace comfortably hard pace, comfortably hard. So you're going to, these steady state runs, these are going to be, you're going to start off 25 minutes and then you're going to build up to 45 minutes. And so what pace is comfortably hard? Well, I'm going to recommend you do these runs at 5k pace plus one minute Per mile. So for example, if your uh, ability is a 20 minute 5k, right? If you're, if you're at a 20 minute 5k ability, then that's 625 pace. And so this would translate to doing your steady state runs. So a run of 25 minutes to 45 minutes, your steady state run at a 725 pace. So you add one minute to your 5k pace. All right, that's that's one type of aerobic workout you guys can do. Other types of workouts I'll have you do are called fart licks. So a fart lick is basically just an unstructured workout, um, an unstructured, and I really shouldn't say unstructured because there is structure to it, but it's a workout that you run based on time, not distance. 
It's a workout you run based on time, not distance, and you vary your intensity as, as you go, right? So during the course of that run, you're going to change. You're going to go faster and then slower and then faster and then slower. So you alternate paces. And so the first type of fart like is a really low key, really um, low intensity workout. It's called a five one fart lick. And so that five one fart lick, that's a continuous run of 30 minutes alternating five minutes easy with one minute hard. And so in this case, hard is your 5K pace. And then easy is just your normal, easy conversational pace. Once you've done a couple of these five one fart licks, you can increase the intensity by you know, increasing the ratio of hard running, right? So it doesn't have to be a five one fart lick. You might even do a four one or three one. Um, a classic fart lick that the Kenyans employ is a one one fart lick. And so this is really simple. You're alternating one minute easy, one minute hard. One minute easy, one minute hard. You're alternating between one minute easy and one minute hard. And so you're gonna, you're gonna wanna start off just 10 minutes of this is enough of a workout you know, to begin with. But you wanna work your way up. You do this workout two, three, four, maybe four times. You wanna work up towards 30 minutes. All right? And in terms of turnover mechanics, um, the most important thing you can do is strides. Strides, so something like four to um, maybe 10 times 100 meters. And the key here is with full recovery, right? You don't want to start a stride while you're still catching your breath, while your legs are still tired, right? You want to do these on fresh legs so you can practice really good running form, all right? And so in terms of speed, it's not a sprint. It's not a sprint, but maybe something more like mile pace. So it should be a speed that you can hold in a race for, you know, about, about five minutes, right? And that makes it a good pace for a hundred meter stride, right? Real relaxed, not a big deal. You could probably get away of doing this, um, you know, several times in a week, right? Um, I'm not going to have you do them every day. Some people have, have some people do it every day. You don't have to. Um, even just once a week is a great stimulus. And then once you, once you got, once you're used to doing strides, we can even go a step further here and do some longer, some longer reps, right? So something like maybe eight to 12 times 200 meters um, at that same speed, at that mile pace. And, and you want to have full recovery. So let's do, um, so with 230 rest, so two and a half minutes of, of standing or walking rest. All right. So these are all the workouts I'm going to have you do. Now let's see. Let's see how we can put this together um, into a buildup over the course of uh, June and July. All right, so the first week of this plan is gonna start off, um, let's see, May 31st. So in week one, and let's see, in that first week, you've got, um, you've got you know, Sunday, Monday, et cetera. All right. And so that first week, you know, you're just getting used to running again. So maybe that first week you only do about 20 miles per week. All right. So that first week you only do 20 miles a week. Um, now you can do your long run, your longest run of the week on, uh, you know, Sunday or Saturday. It's good to keep it on the weekend just so you have that routine that you can stick to once we get back to school. Um, for that first week, you know, let's put that long run on Saturday, and that's just going to be a five-mile run. So a five-mile five mile run is going to be your longest run that first week, and you want to 
you know, this, set, distribute your miles so that they add up to 20 miles in that week, right? So you don't have to, I'm not going to give you an exact number of miles to run every day, right? You, you, you've got a lot of flexibility. You can take one day off, take two days off. Um, I probably wouldn't take more than two days off. You know, you, you don't want your, you don't want, um, you want your longest run of that week to be five miles after all, right? So run five to six days that week. Um, make your longest run five miles, right? And then you want to do some strides too. So let's do um, four by 100 meter strides. All right, so that's week one. All right, week, week two. So we're moving on now. Let's see, um, June 7th, June 7th. So at this point, you can, you, we're trying to build our mileage up. We're trying to get up to 40. So that second week, we're going to increase our mileage to uh, 26. Keep that long run five miles, right? So we're just running, you know, about a mile extra each day uh, from the previous week, about a mile extra, four by 100 meter strides. All right, and so that's week two. Then we've got June 14th, th that week. We're going to do, um, so we've increased our mileage now two weeks in a row. So you don't want to increase your mileage, you know, just consistently, right? You want to give your body a chance to recover um, and adapt to the, new, to the new training load, right? If we increase our, tra our, our training too much uh, over a long period of time, we're not giving our body um, enough time to adapt, and that's, that's where you get into trouble of injuries. So we're going to take a, a down week here, and so we're going to let our body adjust a little bit, and we're, we're not going to increase the third week. No increase the third week. In fact, we're going to drop it down to 23 miles, right? And then so, again, five miles as your longest run. And this week, this week, you can add maybe a 5-1 fart lick or a short steady state run. So, you know, like a low key, a low key aerobic workout. So I'll put an A there to represent that. Um, and then strides. So Monday, Wednesday, you don't want to do any workouts on back-to-back -back days. You know, you want your lawn run and the two workouts you do to be, you know, spread out throughout the week. All right, let's see. June 21st, so we took our down week here. So let's, let's get back um, to increasing our mileage, right? 29 miles. And then that long run, we're gonna increase the six miles, right? And then again, continue with your aerobic workout and your strides. And so at this point, um, you know, you're starting to add a little bit faster running but don't get too carried away here. When, when you do this workout, uh, I guess June, June, June 15th maybe, or uh, June 22nd, make sure that by Wednesday that week, you, you, know, you, know, you, know, you don't have any soreness, right? You, you wanna get over any sort of uh, soreness from that workout by Wednesday at the latest, right? So let's see. All right. 34 miles for the week of June 28th, right? So at this point, we're finally getting into, getting into some un, you know, uncharted territory. You know, before you did this plan, um, you should already have been able to do 30 miles per week in the past, right? So now we're finally getting into some new uh, territory. And so you're going to bump your long run up to seven. Strides and an aerobic workout. All right, let's see. The week after June 28th is July 5th. And again, look, we increased our mileage two weeks in a row. So we want to take a down week here, and we're going to drop our miles back to 30 miles per week.
doing an aerobic, an aerobic workout, right? So if you did some steady state runs, maybe you increase that steady state by, a few, by five minutes, right? If you started off with like a 25 minute steady state over here, um, here maybe you try 30 minutes, right? And then you could do fart licks on the other week, right? So you wanna do a variety of workouts just to keep your training interesting and not, and not boring, right? And you also wanna be you know, careful and gradual, right? So you wanna start off with that 5-1 fart lick because it's easier. It's easier than the one-to-one -one fart lick. And you wanna start off with a short steady state and then gradually increase, the, increase that training stimulus, right? But you, but you do wanna build on what, on what you've been doing, right? Let's see, so strides. And so by the same logic, you know, you started off doing four by 100 meter strides here. By the time we're in July, you probably, probably should be able to do six to eight um, by 100 meters. All right, seven mile, seven mile long run there. All right, and then we've, we've got July 12th, July 19th, right? And then July 26th. And th so this is, the, this is the last three weeks of our plan. So July 12th, we took a down week, right? So now we're gonna increase our mileage. 36 miles this week, 40 the next, and then hold at 40. All right, so over the course of about seven or eight weeks, we've been able to build up from 20 miles a week to 40 miles a week. Right, and so here we're still doing an aerobic workout on uh, Monday each week. And again, you guys can you guys can choose a different schedule, right? Um, if you want to work out Tuesday and Thursday or Monday and Thursday, that's fine too, right? You can you can change up the days where these workouts appear, right? But you want to have these three workouts each week. All right, so now we're doing an eight mile lawn run. That's the longest we're gonna get to in this training cycle. Right, maybe that last week of, of July, we try, we try eight by 200 meters, right? With 230 rest. All right, so um, this is this, this is the, the schedule. Okay. So I hope, um, I hope you found this video informative, right? It lays out a ambitious, but safe way to build up your mileage from 20 miles a week to 40 miles a week, um, over the months of June and July. Right. And it shows you, you know, how, how, how a typical week might look. Right. And it shows you some key workouts you can add so that you're not just doing easy running 100% of the time, right? You're still doing a lot of easy conversational pace running, but you're sprinkling in, you're sprinkling in some extra workouts to work on your aerobic system and your turnover, all right? If you have any questions about, about this plan, please don't hesitate, reach out, I'm happy to answer them. All right, have a great summer.